Hi, this is my video on the MPOW High Fidelity Earplugs. Now you get two pairs with this, with acoustic filters. Now, if you know about earplugs and sound, because I'm talking about these plugs from the average man on the street. I am not a musician, I am not a sound recordist, or anything to do with that. I'm just the average bloke on the street who's bought these earplugs. Now, they have an SNR of 28 dB, concert ear plugs with aluminium case, with aluminium carrying cases. So it comes with that. Now it's suitable for uh, musicians, DJs, drummers, festival goers, nightclubs, etc. Now I'll bring the box close to the screen. Now, as I says, I'm the average bloke on the street and I've just bought these ear earplugs because I am one of these guys who gets, when I go to parties or nightclubs or some open air concerts, um, I happen to, uh, the day after, I get a ringing in my ears and I, at 52 years old, I am sick and tired of hearing that ringing in my ears after when I leave from places like that, especially the next day. So when I've come across these high fidelity earplugs, um, I tried them out at a, a, a nightclub that me and my wife went to, well, a bar then, not, a, not so much of a nightclub. It was one of these bars with a kind of a dance floor there. And um, this, absolutely did the trick. The, ne the following day, I knew there was loud music there anyway, but the following day, I did not get that kind of ringing in my ears with these. Now, if you're a sound person, you probably know about this far more than I am. So it says here, it has an NRR of, 27, of 24 decibels and an SNR of 28 decibels. Now, if you know anything about that, please let me know down in the comment section what that means. Anyway, around the box, it has MPAL. It says Dream, Explore, Inspire. You get two pairs. You get a, a diagram picture of the actual earplugs. And then it says here, Hearing Protection, uh, Lossless Sound Quality, Reusable, compact and portable and the model number of it is HP096A. Now on the back of the box, it say, obviously it tells you it's the high fidelity earplugs, that same decibel thing again as the front and two pairs and then it states here concerts, clubs, travel and motorcycle. And it has the company MPALS address here and Europe, the EU um, importer, their email address there and mpal.com and support there. And then on the side of the box we have that. Nothing on the bottom, nothing at the side and nothing on top. Now in the box this is what we get. We get a little leaflet from MPAL which I think has a QR code on it to show you what other products, when you scan that, show you what other products they sell. So you get that. You also get this little leaflet, which is an instruction leaflet about the earplugs. And it tells you how to insert them and how to clean them, because these are reusable, you can clean them. So it just tells you how the, a bit of a warning and tells you how to clean them. And on the back, it shows you the two earplugs, well, the two pairs, and the holder and how to insert the earplugs on the back. Now, this is the actual holder. It's made out of metal, aluminium, and it has a rubber seal to it. So when you unscrew it, it has a rubber seal there. And this is only capable of holding just two of them in there. So just two, uh, one pair in there and obviously the words MPAL written on there and a ring to attach it to your keys. 
and then we have the earplugs itself. Now, you get two with the black um, filter in there and two with the silver filter in there. Now, what I've just showed you, what I'm showing you now is just one of one and one of the other. So this is the one with the silver filter in there, as you can see. And this is the one with the black filter in there. Now, these filters can come out. They're easy to pop out. So I'll do that just to show you on one of them. I'll just use the black one as an example. They simply come out like so. If you've got more of a nails, you can take these out. But um, I haven't got much of a nails and the camera. Come on, let's get that into focus. Thank you. And that's how they come out. And that's how the filters look. So they're quite easy to come out. So once you take the filter out, you do not wash this filter. All you do is you wipe it down. Just wipe it down with a dry cloth or tissue but you can wash this. Now, I wouldn't wash them in too much of a hot water, not hot water, just warm water is enough, or just rinse them in warm water to rinse these off. And as you can see, it's in a three, I would say three plug design, three plug design with a little tail so you can pull them out. And I will show you how they look in my ear. Now, when you're going to put these in, you've got to match the colours up. So if you're going to put a black one in, you put the other black one in. If you're going to put the silver one in, you put the other silver one in. Don't mix and match them. So you don't put a black one in and a silver one in, or a black one in and a silver one in. They've got to be black one, black one, silver one, or silver one. One of the two pairs, so don't mix and match. Now for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to put the black ones in. Now, I'm going to show you how you put them in. You get the little tail part. You hold the tail part. You take your hand on the opposite side, bring it round your head, pull on your ear, and then push the actual unit into your ear as far as it will go, not too deep, just, just enough so you can actually feel that little stem on the tip of your finger. So that's one. On the other side, same again, opposite hand goes over the head. Pull on the ear, look, pull on your ear, the top of your ear, push it in. Just leave enough that you can actually feel the little, now I'll try and bring it close to the camera and hopefully I get it in the camera just to leave a tip here. See, I can actually feel it. And that's it. Now, you have to bear in mind, these are not like foam earplugs. When you put foam ones in, they expand and you just don't hear nothing apart from the, your blood flow inside of you and your heartbeat. That's what you hear with foam ones. These ones, remember, I've got a filter. Now, if you can see the black filter, I hope I've got it on camera, but you can see the filter. Now, that filter is letting in certain noises, certain frequencies of noises. Now, I'm saying this as a layman. Remember, I am not a sound engineer. I've got another audio engineer or a studio engineer. I am nothing like that, just a normal bloke on the street. So it allows in sound. Now that is good because when my wife is talking to me or somebody's talking to me at a club, at a bar or at a concert, I can still hear them. I can still hear the music and I can hear my surroundings. What this actually does is cut out that loudness. So instead of the loudness being up here in my ears, it's somewhere down here. So I can still hear all the notes and whatever. It just cuts out that. Now, the black one, which I have noticed, 
Now, how I've tried these, now how I tried these or experimented with these or test them out, if you want to call it, is I placed them in my ears, the black ones at first. I sat in my car and I turned the music up almost to maximum volume. Obviously, I warned my neighbours that I'm going to be playing music in my car. And if they hear the music, it's just me testing these out. But I tested them in my car. Now, I had the music turned up loud and it just sounds in my ears all right. I, I, it's hard to say on video. They sounded all right in my ears. They sounded like, um, how can I put it? It sounded like if I was watching TV by myself in the room and nobody's talking to me, so I don't have to turn up the volume or whatever. I could hear word for word of every song. I can feel the bass, obviously, but I didn't get that kind of screeching into my ears with this. Now, that's with the black ones. Now, to take them out, I'm gonna start with this ear first. Bring this hand, your opposite hand, Bring it over, feel for the little tail. Now I felt, I got it. Slowly pull it out, just don't pop them out. Slowly pull them out. And that's that one done. And I'll do the same here. Opposite hand, over the head. Feel for the tail. Now I've got to really feel for it, that's it. Feel for the tail, and as I feel for it, slowly pull it out. And that's the other one done. Now I'm gonna put the silver ones in. Same procedure again. There's the tail. Hold the tail, opposite hand over the head. Pop them in. Now I find if I leave the tail towards the, leave the tail towards the bottom of my, the ear, um, ear hole here, I can feel for it better, so, so that's one in. Same again for the other ear. There's the tail, on the tail, fingers on the tail, hand over the head, pop them in, slowly push them in, keeping the tail at the bottom, if you wish for the tail to be at the bottom. Slowly pop them in. And these are the silver ones now. So hopefully I'll get this on camera. So that's the silver one in my ear. And the silver one. Now, I did the same test with the silver one in my car. Played exactly the same song. Up loud. Almost maximum volume. Now, which I find with the silver one was... High notes sounded a little bit more dull. On the black ones, high notes sounded just like if I had my earphones in. They sounded just a, just a little bit, um, little bit lower, but it wasn't as low as the silver ones. The silver ones, them high notes really came down. So I could still hear the song, uh, note for note, but the high notes that I knew in this song were a lot less. While if I wore the black ones, the high notes were there, just a little bit cut off. It wasn't so ear piercing. So if I didn't have these in, them high notes in, the, in that song would have been ear piercing at that particular um, volume of sound. Now, so to me, these are all right if I don't want to hear the high notes really, really high. I just want them cut in half. These are good. Now, when it comes for the mid ranges and the bass, bass, you can feel anyway, so that was no problem. Mid ranges was just a bit low for the mid ranges. That's in my opinion. Now, your ears and the sounds to you could be different and it all depends on your age, how your hearing is, so that depends with you. But with me, the highs with the silver ones were slightly cut low, the mid range was slightly cut low, bass you could just feel anyway and I could still hear it, so bass was just bass. 
but on the black ones, they were just right. It was like, as I says, it was like being in a room, in my dining room, just me watching the TV, everything was turned down. So I'm still getting that same high, the high notes, the mid range, the bass, they were like the same, but everything just turned down. Now to remove them, same again, opposite hand over the head, pulling on the ear, feel for the little tail, slightly pull out. So don't pull them out with force, slightly pull them out. There's that one done. Same again, hand over the head, feel for the little tail, which is at the bottom of my ear, and slightly pull out. And that's it. And that's it, they're all out. Now, as a lay person, a normal guy on the street, who's not a professional sound man, I'll say that again, not a professional sound man, not a musician, not a kind of studio mixer or whatever. I'm just a normal bloke on the street who's just sick and tired of the following day hearing that ringing in his ears after going to a nightclub, a ball, a dance, a house party, even a bar where they're playing music loud. I'm just sick of hearing that ringing the next day. Honest, it really does piss me right off. Right, these to me are very good. As I said, I tried them when I first got them in my car with the music loud and I suggest if you're ever gonna buy anything like this, that try it in your car because one, it's such a confined space in your vehicle. So when you turn the music up to maximum volume or near to maximum volume, you know it's gonna be loud. That is gonna be really, really loud. So try them. Even if you're not buying these ones and you're buying a different one, try them in your car first with your music loud. See how they sound then. Now for me, when I actually went out with them and it was to a dinner dance, that's where I actually went out with, sorry, not to a, a bar. It was, well, I did try them at a bar, but um, I did try them at a bar, but prior before that was a dinner dance when I actually really tried them out. And I know at a dinner dance, it's not gonna be as loud as a bar that had a dance floor in there anyway, so it's not gonna be that loud. But I did not get that kind of ringing in my ears the following day, it was absolutely brilliant. It was just like a normal day in my ears. So that's what I liked. Now, if you've got this particular one, please let us know in the comment section what you thought about it. Now, if you're a sound person, an audio file, a sound engineer and whatever, just tell me, all I want to know in the comment section is, what does the words NR -R mean and SNR mean? Now, is that the frequency of the decibels it cuts it down to or what? I do not know. Just please let me know down in the comment section. So anyway, if you're looking for earbuds, cuts down the sound, you're sick and tired of that ringing in your ears the day after, and you get it for days like I do, get a pair of these. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. I understand. Thanks for watching, and oh yes, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.